Hello, good morning students. Student, I am going to take up the title of the novel Animal Form with you. First of all, we have to understand what does a title mean. Just as your name is your title, my name is my title. Similarly, a book or a novel has a title. Similarly, the novel in question, the animal form has got a title and the name of uh, the title is Animal Form. Uh, supposing uh, you are a stranger to this book, you have not read it before, you just pick it up from the shelf of the library or from any bookstore, what comes to your mind? What strikes your mind? You can hazard a guess that it may be a story of an animal form, it may be a story of animals, so these questions can come to your mind. But when you read this novel, then you come to know that it's not simply a story of the animal forms, it's more than that. So the title of this novel, you know, we have to uh, think on, we have to keep two or three questions in our mind whenever we approach uh, this kind of question or this particular question. Whenever we are asked to comment on the title of a novel or any book, we have to ask two or three questions from ourselves. Is this title appropriate? Can there be an alternative uh, to this title? Can there be another title in place of this title? Or can this title be replaced with another suitable title? Or what is the purpose of um, um, uh, keeping this uh, uh, title? Or what is the purpose of giving this name or this title to this book or to this novel? So if you ask these questions to yourself and try to find out the answers of these questions, then you can easily understand the importance of the title of the book in question. Here, in this case, the name of our uh, book or the novella is Animal Form. Now, Animal Form, uh, now just ask this question, why is the name Animal Form? Because it's a story of the animals. Yes, to some extent, it's a story of animals. If you read this novel, after reading this novel, you can easily say that it's a story of animals, okay? And since it's a story that uh, takes place in a farm, okay, in a farmhouse, okay, and then, then we can say it's a story of the animal form. So animals, they gather in a farmhouse and they meet there and they discuss different things. They make a plan to revolt against uh, uh, their master and finally they succeed in mission. And ultimately, uh, they get crushed uh, or, or oppressed by their own animals. So, to some extent, it is justified. The title of the novel is uh, justified. But uh, I, I personally feel it's not apt and appropriate. There could be another title, or this title can be amended, or this title can be tweaked like this: "The Kingdom of Animals." Okay, the bad kingdom of animals. A revolution in the animal form like this we can uh, come up with other alternatives also the writer could have come up with other another titles also but uh, at the face of it it appears that it's the story of the animals and to great extent the writer is true but it has got a subtitle also and the subtitle is animal form a fairy story now what is a fairy tale or a fairy story a fairy tale or fairy stories, you have read so many fairy tales and fairy stories. Um, normally grannies or grandmother or grand grandmother or grandfather, they used to uh, narrate such stories at bedtime to their grandkids. So what happens in a fairy tale, it's a supernatural, super, the elements, supernatural elements are uh, involved in a fairy tale. Supernatural element means those which are uh, those uh, which are not human beings, okay? Now, in animal form, no such thing is witnessed, okay? Uh, but there, uh, there are, I mean, it's full of improbabilities. Animal form is full of improbabilities. Can you think animal can talk? No. Can animals burn a windmill? No. But this happens in the novel. And uh, therefore, we can say it's full of improbabilities. Therefore, and, and moreover, uh, a fairy tale is based on an imagination. And this this particular book, this particular book, Animal Form, is based on imagination, but it, it chiefly relies on certain historical events. 
okay so it it is a blend of facts and uh, uh, fiction uh, imagination uh, has been involved uh, but we can't say it, it, it's a fairy tale to some extent it's a fairy tale so as far as subtitle is concerned subtitle uh, never justifies the main title that is animal form so the title is a, a little bit confusing okay uh, uh, but at the same time um, uh, we uh, can't say that uh, 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 it is not one of the best titles it conveys its message uh, so we have to understand this question in this pr uh, perspective now what is the purpose of writing this uh, title why has this title been given by the writer number one it is his personal choice it is his personal choice so in our end it has been written animal form because uh, the writer is uh, uh, the writer wants to stay politically correct because this novel is an allegory and uh, uh, though it discusses historical events though it is based on historical events but writer wants to stay politically correct that's why he has not given a title which can hurt the sentiments of uh, 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 of a particular uh, of a particular class that uh, subscribe to a particular ideology or to a particular uh, or can hurt the pride of a particular nation okay so the writer wants to uh, stay politically correct and that's why he has given a very uh, uh, given or written a politically correct uh, 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 title that is animal form so this is how you can explain it in the exam thank you very much